Welcome to week five Tecmo Super Bowl two special edition bowl season. Where we're gonna see me as a Green Bay Packers playing against the New England Patriots. Now season one we see me get a wild card and I went to the playoffs where I got beat by the New York Giants in the NFC Championship. Last season I won my division, but I got beat by the Dallas Cowboys in the NFC Championship. The New England Patriots Third place in the first season. And didn't even make the playoffs. Last season they came in dead last, so we haven't seen them make the playoff yet, but I know Tech Super Bowl 3 final edition, they're usually a pretty good team, so this game was released in the same year. The Patriots might also be a good team in this game. They do have a 3 1 record, Packers are 4 0. Take a look at those two teams. Right there, three and one. They got 91 points, 80 points against them, so they're plus 11, which really isn't much for being three and one. That's averaging like five and a half points per victory, like winning by five and a half points. For those two games that they're up on. Packers on the end, other hand, 4 0 undefeated. Now, I played three of those four games. The last game was auto skipped. Packers won by one point. But the three games that I played as the Packers, I dominated. As you see, I had 203 points, 74 opposing points. So here we go. First, we're going to auto skip through the other games out. Whoops. I guess I'll look back. One menu too far. Atlanta gets beat by the Rams. Buffalo gets beat by the Bears. Dallas beats Washington. Big surprise. Detroit gets beat by Tampa Bay. I get sick of Dallas Cowboys. And no offense to Cowboy fans, but they're always winning in these games. It just gets tiresome. Yeah, is that Reggie? Cool, he got injured two games ago and now he's back. I will return. Oh, that was a perfect kick for the Patriots. Right down to half of one yard. Okay, this is already not looking good. receiver was open, so I used my quarterback to run. Because he got my running play is the T dive, my passing play is the T dive fake. So if you do the T dive fake and they cover your receivers, they don't expect the quarterback to run it. Sometimes it doesn't work though, sometimes they'll sack me. Blitz. Defense. It's like they're covering every one of my receivers every play. Ready. Set. Cut. So you 
just go to the running backs and tight ends. Running play, I guess, if you have a slow running back. Blue, 43, blue, 43. Cut, cut. See, that's why I rarely do running plays because they always fail for me. Blue, 48, blue, 48. Cut. Nobody to throw it to. Somehow Sterling got it. Monkey caught that one because I was just about to say I think I'm going to lose this game. Not to say I'm going to win it now, but Patriots might. So far they seem to be kind of tough. music does not sound like the same music we heard last game. I'm wondering if maybe they have more than just two tunes. See, every time a player comes back from injury, his phys physical condition is average. 69 and 75. Rashawn Jones is the same. I got Drew Bledsoe in this cut, game. Cut, cut. I'm gonna go ahead and switch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Jones back down there. Red, I'll put Reggie White down. Cut, I'm a player cut. that I play. It's like we got another one of these teams who likes to like to pass every play, so I guess I'm gonna have to start putting some more defensemen in the back. Blue, 43. Cut, cut, cut. Yeah, got Reggie right there to take you down. Ready, cut. Nice try. Red, 32. Oh, fumble. Yeah. Recovered it, but they're not going to say who did it. Lost his job. Too bad he can't fire players in this game, but he's definitely out for the game. Am I player fumbles? I usually like to bench him the whole game. Check my defense now. Brown can come in, but Michael and Davey can, can all come in. Cool, Reggie White's in excellent condition. Strickland can come in. Oh, we don't need him yet. We we'll only replace the players if they're bad unless they fumble. We have Buckley, Harris, and Butler can all come in. 
ตอนนี้นั่นเองเราเดี๋ยวจะไปเข้าใจฉันเขาสูงขึ้นเป็นปีที่แล้วก็ไม่ค่อยได้เล่นแต่สองปีแล้วเ
Look at that. Like 99% of my players are passive play. Why would they even pick a, a Russian play? But every time I do go for a Russian play, this thing works me. And look at when I go for a passing play, they go by they go with the damn package. Yeah, I try to run. I try to run it myself and then just lose more yards. Here. No way I went in a field goal from that side. I've never punted in this game, so let's see what this is like. Pretty much like Tekken Super Bowl 3 final edition. Perfect. Yeah. see a safety on this every, every game. Got him. Another safety for the Packers. That's something we also see common in Tecmo Super Bowl 3 Final Edition. I got a really good defense. Another thing we can expect to see in Tecmo Super Super Bowl 3 Final Edition is Leroy Butler running back some kickoff returns. I got 12 seconds to try throwing a 60 yard touchdown. I doubt it, but. Yeah, see, that's the way it always happens. You're just a little bit short, and they just happen to have three guys right in the area, so. Take a look at that rushing yards. I got six, they got minus one. Passing yards, I got 198, they got 65, so. I'm definitely outplaying them offensively. As far as passing, rushing isn't really, but I'm slightly better, but, which is rare. Defensively, I'm hitting them pretty hard, though. Whoops. I check my players. I do this every quarter because they change every quarter. Brown can come in and Davey can come in. Strickland can still come in. Buckley. Harrison Butler can still come in. Okay, so that's who we got. Let's take a look at He's 44 and 50, Leroy Butler is 56 and 69. I don't think we have many players better than 56 and 69. Yeah, I guess, oh well, we'll just forget about it. Butler's fine. again takes him down. See, so whenever they go for rushing play, I usually stop with Reggie. That's the only thing they can do is pass it because they catch everything they throw. 
Wait, it's third and one. Why would they go for running play? They had minus one rushing yards. They catch everything they pass, so I think they'd go for passing play, even though it's one yard. Okay, I got nobody to... I got nobody there to block Butler. Check my offense now. That market's still coming in for far, but we don't need him. Thompson can come in. 44 and 81. Cubs. Better than Wilson. We're actually going to put Thompson in. Lewis, we're going to forget looking at Chimera because he failed us. Lewis and West can come in. receivers and see how fast they are. P6 and 19. Whoops. 63 and 44. So here's what we're going to do. Sharp probably make a better running back than any of the other running backs I got. Blue, 43! Blue, 43! Cut! Cut! Look at that. Hey, that's a late hit. I want to see the penalty. Blue, 43! Cut! Cut! See, I already know that Brooks Pretty good receiver, right there. He just proved it. Three guys on him still caught that. So you know we can go ahead and put Sterling as running back. Okay, that time it didn't work because they blitzed me. Like, right? knew exactly what I was gonna do. That's another reason why I don't like running plays. It seems like about 90% of the fumbles I get are either knocked out of the quarterback's hands or a running back's hands. A large percentage of my receptions go into the end zone. That's why you might notice how just about every game, even though I dominate points, Sometimes they got more first downs than me, most of the time they do. It's because most of my passes are touchdowns. Check the stats on this game. Yes, you can. Through blood, so it's 63%, more like 99%. I don't remember him missing a pass yet. I like that. That's the only 
thing I can do is have to go for a running play. Because whoever designed this game obviously had a huge crush on Drew Blood, so. So was good, but he was no Brett Favre. Actually, see the thing. Oh, great! See, that is one rule I don't think they should have. Now I get the ball in the one yard line. I risk a safety. I should get a, like, a touchback. I should get a 20 yard line. Blue, 48! Blue, 48! Cut! Chaos incomplete! I mean, what good is a... turnover if I get it this close to my end zone? Bounds would oh well. Blue 43! Blue 43! Cut! 9 nothing. This is the lowest scoring game. This is the first game I have not scored over 50 points in. Usually I score over 50 points each game. I'm only up 9 nothing. Harv can remain in. Sterling Sharp can remain in his position, maybe. Depending on how the rest of these players look. Everything's still, still looking pretty good. Every single play I go for, I suddenly know exactly what play I'm doing. I mean, it's kind of funny, I go for a rushing play, then a passing play, yet it's no pattern, it's just kind of random, yet they always pick the right one. It suddenly got good. Oh, how nice, nice kick. Would have been better just to go for it on fourth down and risk a turnover. Easy, easy touchdown coming up here. First down. And make some changes to my defense. Simmons, who put Buckley, Harris, Buckley and Teague can both come in. Just throwing trip for my returners, too. Did I predict that one or what? Right towards the end of the game, Patriots are suddenly start scoring. You gotta be kidding me. It took you this long to score, and now you're gonna go for a two point conversion. No 
that kicker bar has been around forever. Now that one's pretty cool. See, now I could do that really good with Leroy Butler and the Tech Muscle Bowl 3 Final Edition. It'll quite a few returns all the way down. Okay, that's the third offensive play in a row. But they knew exactly what I was doing. You know, see, it's this ball in 49. I could have swore I was down in 50. That's something I noticed in Techno Super Bowl 3 Final Edition. I've never seen it say ball on 50. It seems like no matter what, when you're down on the 50 yard line, you put it on one of the 49s. Don't know why. Just something I noticed. Okay, that's four out of the last five plays I did that. They blitz me, they knew exactly what play I was going for. Ready, set, cut. Just in that next game. They still have Mark Chimera as a tight end, but they have a generic tight end just named Packers. That's something you see often in some of the Tecmo games. When the games, when the games were made, teams didn't have complete rosters, so they just gave them a generic name like, you might see like, running back Packers. Like there's one, like the Buffalo Bills when they lost Thurman Thomas, they had RB Bills for a running back in Techno Super Bowl 3 Final Edition. There's quite a few like that. Ready, set, cut, 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 cut. I mean, how do those players all know exactly where it's getting thrown to? Going for it on fourth and seven, it's risky, but. Stops when it gets to a certain point. Vikings, I beat them 66 to 8. Then we see me beat the Dolphins 58 to 20. 
Then I beat the Eagles 51 to 19. Here I barely beat the Patriots 96. I outrushed them 17 yards to four. I passed them 323 to 135. They had 340 yards compared to their 139. I actually had more first downs than them this time, but that's because it was a tough game. 13-9. Sacks, I had two sacks, I didn't have any. No interceptions, fumbles, I got two, I got one. So, I actually look a little bit better defensively in those statistics, but I think I stopped the more yards. Definitely on the rushing. I stopped the rushing quite a bit. Look at that Sterling Sharp lead in both rushing and receiving. I just might keep Sharp as my running back this season. So at 59% correct first, 56%. Okay, let's go through the rest of the games for week five. Minnesota got beat by I think it was Arizona Giants got beat by the Saints. Jets get beat by the Cleveland. Philadelphia gets beat by the 49ers. Seattle beats Indianapolis. Miami beats Cincinnati. Houston. People Pittsburgh in overtime. Okay, so. Next game is also going to be a Packer game. We're going to be playing against the Rams. First, we're going to take a look at the NFL standings. Oops. Oops, East Buffalo, 4 and 1. Look at the Patriots are 3 and 2, second place in the division. Pretty tough team this season. The last two seasons, they're terrible. AFC Central, Cleveland, leading their division. Pittsburgh, 3 and 2. Houston, Cincinnati, not going anywhere. Seattle's leading their division, 4-1. Kansas City and Denver are 3-1. This is usually a unpredictable division, the AFC West. It always seems to be pretty close for some reason. NFC East is always dominated by Dallas, so it's no surprise to see them 4-0. They went 16-0 in the last season. Not to mention they won, they had a buy-in round one of the playoffs, they won round two of the playoffs, they won beat me in the NFC Championship, but they got beat in the Super Bowl by the Buffalo Bills. There's only the second place to dream one, the rest of the teams are all looking terrible. Packers 5-0, undefeated. And so this is 3-2. The rest of the teams look kind of nasty. 49ers 4-1. Rest of those teams also look nasty. So, this is pretty much the three teams you're seeing leading the NFC. Now you got the Packers, 49ers, Cowboys. Those are the same teams that win the division almost every single season when, in my Tecmo Super Bowl 3 Final Edition, which is what I hate because it's so predictable. It's like Dallas, Green Bay, San Francisco every season. At least in the AFC, sometimes it's Miami or New England winning this division. I see Buffalo leading it right now. Buffalo's not really that good of a team in the next game. Usually it's Pittsburgh winning this division. Sometimes one of the other teams, but... And as I said, this one's kind of unpredictable. Sometimes it usually seems like it's Denver or San Diego. I don't think I've... I've seen the Seattle win the division, but I don't remember. Sometimes I've seen the Raiders win it. The Chiefs, I don't know about. But usually Denver and San Diego, but this is Tecmo Super Bowl II Special Edition. Never played this, never played a full season of this game before. The 
rosters might just at least slightly different enough to give a team a big difference, so you just never know who's going to do it in this game. Take a look at next week's schedule. Week 6. Next video we're going to see the LA Rams playing against the Green Bay Packers. And as usual, the computer will be controlling the Rams, I'll be controlling the Packers. Oops, wrong button. Check the Rams. Rams are two and three, so I should beat them. But I've been surprised before where I get beat by terrible teams, so no guarantee. But I always hope you enjoyed the game. I'll see you in the next video, which should be tomorrow. I also work tomorrow, 7:30 to 4. I work. It's like the last. That was pretty much my main schedule, was 7.30 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. But about the last month we've been really busy, so they kind of split up the shifts, and I don't work at 9.30 to 6. So it's like, I really didn't have much time to play any games after work. But today and tomorrow I'm back to 7.30 to 4, so I should have time to do some more games. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll see you in the next video.